One. This is me aiming at it, okay? <laughs> no way. <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to 10 tech products that will waste your money. Brian is just, <laughs> you were like right to the side of me. He was like, I was like, what the heck? I was like trying to like focus on what I was trying to say. Guys, Brian went online and he found 10 of the weirdest things he could find and we're gonna let you know today whether they're wasteful or tasteful. Guys, make sure you click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified of when I upload videos because I comment back. Yes, I do. Even though it doesn't look like it because YouTube buries my comments, I comment back. I can't comment to everyone, but I try my best for the first 30 minutes. See you there. USB powered coffee tea beverage cup mug warmer heater blue. Interesting. So what what does this claim to do? What? Is there a hole in the bottom of it? Wait, is that the top of it? The <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Ships from China Warehouse. 268? Out of stock. I think we got it already though. Yeah. So many people are often so confused about like where I'm like, let's buy it. And then like, how does it show up in the same day? We buy it beforehand, guys. And we just pretend. It's all a mystery. I, I actually I just gave it away. Oh well. Easy installation, easy operation, environmentally friendly. Keep your coffee, tea, and other beverage warm. Nice item, good service. Well made and very handy. Eh? Oh, I don't know how to say that. Sorry. A plus plus plus? I gotta get this, guys. Let's get it. Wow. <laughs> Reliably hot, temperature highest. Wow, USB warm cup. Here's it. <laughs> I don't know how to get that out. There we go. And then I just plug that in like that. Boom. And then I plug it into the USB. There's no indication. Ha! I'm just kidding. It's not hot. Brian was like, oh, it's warming up slightly. Go, do it, daddy o Let's see if this warms it. Okay, so I've let this sit for, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. And if, if you can look in there, it looks like there are bubbles in there. I don't know if that's boiling. I'm like afraid. I'm put your finger in it. No. You put your finger in it. You're really afraid of a little USB cup warmer. What, it, there's bubbles in there. That doesn't mean it's boiling. Yeah, it's not boiling. It's warm. Is it warm? Yeah, it's definitely warm. It's not like even as hot as like, I drink my coffee, but yeah, I mean, it definitely keep your coffee warm. That is true. Tasteful, yeah. not bad, yeah. not bad. Prank pack hot lips. <laughs> this is a gift box, no actual product inside. I'm disappointed because I really wanna try this out. If you ever go out and you're in like a cold climate or something like that, you can, your face gets cold, it gets numb, you know? This is a perfect solution for that. <laughs> you can see they just added it on. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, it rests on his nose. It's... Be aware of your surroundings with the optical side mirror. That's cool, dude. They really should make this, dude. I would try it. Keep a summer glow all year round on our with our bronzing lotion. What? They just literally <laughs> made her face just lower exposed. Don't shower with unit on. <laughs> Totally looks legitimate. Great fake instructions with all kind of funny, high quality photos. That's funny. Beware, wrong box size and description. <laughs> Wasteful. Nope, I'm gonna pass because it's fake. Air swimmers, remote control flying shark. Up to 40 range infra. Oh, 40 range infra. I'm so happy. I'm so excited the 40 range infra. Oh, look, up to 40 range infra, red control as the second bullet point. <laughs> They're a little haphazard on that enter button. We need five bullet points. <laughs> uh, requires helium to float. Do we have helium? Please. Who's got helium in their house? We got helium. How does it come down? The remote control or a bow and arrow? <laughs> just shoot it down from the sky, just poof, poof. Perfect Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> Defective shark equals frustrating Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is ruined. Can't get the floating shark working. <gasps> There's a video. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Oh, all this smile. She's like, oh man, it just puts a smile on a stranger's face. I'm sold. Let's add to cart. Ooh, it's in a relatively small box. Remote control flying shark. 
Whoa, what the heck? This is no joke, dude. What in the world? These are these are fins. Okay, wow, that's a big fin. Look how big this is. That's gonna be a big shark, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. This is intense stuff, man. Oh, here's the remote control. <laughs> it's super primitive. Look how primitive this is. Let's test it out. All right, so we're gonna be testing out the giant shark with special guest. Luna and Amanda Bay! It's not even catching her attention. Yeah, oh. there she goes. Oh! <laughs> She's looking at it. She's looking at it. Bro. Today, we are going to release this beautiful shark into the wild. Go! Go into the wild! Swim, my friends! Swim away! Uh-oh. Bring down. life! I'm trying. I'm diving, dude. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to call animal control. Pilot Automotive PR039 French Fry Holder. I'm glad they named it PR039, dude. Otherwise, I'd have been like, wait, is this the 038 or the 039? They recalled the 0 Oh, they, they recalled the 38? Yeah. <laughs> it's designed to hold French fries in your beverage cup holder in your car. Hold standard french fry carton. Okay, here's the issue with this. You most likely, if you're so in love with french fries to the point where you need this product, you're most likely buying a much bigger size french fry than what this will hold. I'm not even saying you're fat, I'm just saying you like french fries this much, you're gonna have a lot of them on hand. Keeps fries secure. That's good, dude. You ever take those turns really hard in the drive-through, man? You're just like, no, my fries! Doesn't work for me. A large fry container doesn't fit and it needs a better build. Told you! <laughs> Functional, but only holds medium, not large. Oh. See? See what I mean? I'm telling you right now. Okay, you called that one. I'll I called that, that one, dude. I was even like, ah. Eh. I'm gonna have to pass on this one. This one's a pass. Toy Smith Magnetic Levitator. Ooh, I think I had one of these as a kid. It just kind of spins in place. And you're just like, look, it's magic. And then anyone over like five years old is like, no, it's a magnet, you idiot. <laughs> the Magnetic Levitator teaches young scientists about the effects of magnetism through a striking visual display. The Levitator spins easily at the slightest touch, demonstrating the anti-gravity effect. Whoa, great idea, poor quality. Aw, oh, bummer. Unbalanced cylinder ruins good concept. Gotta hate those cylinders, am I right? Let's buy it. Add to cart, let's see if it's impressive. Ooh, give me it. Floats in space! Whoa. Whoopsie. Okay, maybe I put it this way. Maybe that's what I gotta do. There we go. Eh? Eh, so now what you do is you spin it. Gentle spin it. Where are my gentle spin ants when you need them? You know what I mean? Look at that guy. Oh, jeez, dude. Try to see how fast I can spin it. Ooh, I got it going fast there, dog. I got it going fast there, you see? Oh. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, oh, you had it. I had it, but I lost it. Barely spin it and it keeps spinning. It'll stop eventually. It'll stop eventually. Not if you believe enough. I'd say that's tasteful. Almost caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Pack ear wax candle kit. Oh, dude, I feel like vomiting looking at that. Gift box appears to contain ridiculous products from clueless companies. Ew. It's fake. Ear wax extraction cap included. They really go all out just to sell a box. Emma Dean's <laughs> ear wax. Create candles as unique as yourself. Look right here. What the <laughs> heck, man? This is like an actual model for the product. I bet this guy, I bet this is the guy that owns the company. What? Because who else is gonna model for this? Does it smell good or is it just a joke? <laughs> I still, it's still like, I wanna collect my earwax. <laughs> Can this remove my earwax? It cannot, it's not an actual product. It's intended as a gag slash prank gift box. I mean, most of the people I assume get it. Everyone's like, too funny, too funny, it's good, it's funny stuff. Literally, it's just a damn box. Thought this was actually a damn gift. All right, chill on your profanity. Okay, dude. Someone's like, Grandpa really needs to remove his earwax, dude. It's too much. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> they give him that and they get the thing and they're just like, Oh no, I, I had too much earwax. I needed a purpose for it. I can't just keep throwing my earwax down the sink. That's wasteful. Sakir. 
RC infrared remote control realistic spider toy two channel brown. Legs which can move respectively allow the spider to crawl noiselessly on any smooth surface. Scare your friends, family members, or even yourself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm driving it to me. Oh my gosh, stop, who's driving it to me? Oh yeah, me, ah! How are you gonna scare yourself? So creepy, so cool. Looked good until you began to play with it while in use it amputated its own leg. <laughs> Don't buy, terrible. Two legs fell off in the first hour. It was a Christmas gift and the niece I gave it to was pretty disappointed. When you give someone a Christmas gift and you think it's gonna be dope and it's just trash. And so they're like, oh, I'm glad you spent so much time and thoughtfulness and money on me. Let's check it out, let's try it. Oh, infrared remote control spider function. Forward, backwards, with light. Oh, okay, oh, that, ew, it's like actually shedding like a real spider. Here's the definitely awkward remote control. Are that, you scaring even yourself? I'm scaring even myself right now, man. Okay, here we go. Oh. You can only go forwards and backwards, but when you go backwards, it turns. So that's how you steer. If I wanted to go this direction right now, I would have to do this. Now I'm gonna go. <laughs> that could scare somebody. I think so. Let's see if anyone's uh, scared of some spiders in the office today, Brian. So we hid the spider underneath Connor's desk. When Connor comes back in is when we're, I'm gonna trigger this thing. Okay. I can't I can't tell if it's getting him or not. Calling Connor in here right now. On official business, of course. Oh, I just had a quick question yeah. about um so as far as the what the hell was that? Oh <laughs> what the heck? You That's gross. Care, dude. That's gross. Oh, there's a camera right there. <laughs> That's gross. He didn't even care, dude. I'm not scared of spiders. Oh. Accoutrements bacon air freshener. Ugh. Here's the issue with people and bacon. People love bacon so much that they try to they try to emulate the smell and the taste, and you just can't do it. Uh, if you try to emulate the smell, it just ends up smelling like like burnt seasonings or something like that. Real bacon or nothing. Okay. Take that great bacon smell everywhere you go. Four inch tall air freshener. Who cares what how big it is? Someone's like, I only want it if it's gonna be four inches or above. Okay. Comes with string for hanging. Dude, they threw in the string. Wow. Like that's your product, an air freshener. That's like saying, we're selling you a new car. Tires included. This does not smell like bacon. Doesn't even smell like bacon's distant cousin twice removed. I told you. This smells fairly terrible and vaguely like bacon gone bad. I'm gonna pass. That's a hard pass. Wait, what? This is tech? I'm tripping out. Oh, did we put that in the wrong list? This was supposed to be an Amazon item, and Brian was like, yeah, it's tech, it's a tech bacon piece. Maybe the tech is how they get it to smell like bacon. Yeah, the Ooh, technology the string, behind. the yeah. string, that's tech. No, it's not, Brian. It's not tech, Brian. Portal 2 Sentry Turret, motion activated desk defender with 11 speaking functions. Oh, I actually wish I could buy this because that looks cool. Target acquired, speaks over 10 different phrases. Well, what's the purpose of it though? When the turret attacks motion nearby, it says target acquired. There you are, I see you. And that's kind of cool. So maybe if you like put it at, like near your desk, someone's walking by, it's like, I see you. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 malfunctioning when the turret is ignored. Time's out after 30 seconds. Are you still there? Although every time you come to your desk, that gets so annoying, dude. It would get so annoying. Can you adjust the volume? Unfortunately, no. It looks cool, but it's just so impractical. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe I just I don't see I don't see how this couldn't get annoying really fast. Wasteful, wasteful. Target alarm clock with gun, infrared laser, and realistic sound effects. White. Everyone's like, white oh, gun. it's so good to be white these days. Well, let's just add it on the title, you know? They want a white gun, here's a white gun. Alarm clock gun set. This comes with an infrared gun with recoil action and sound recoil action. Come on, that's like this big. Recoil action means it's gonna like kick back on me. Set alarm, sleep. Alarm rings, shoot it. 
game mode, get ready, shoot. So it's like immediately right when you wake up, you're ready to play games. I don't know about you, but I'm like, give me coffee. Alarm stops once you hit the center of the target with the laser, the center. Great idea, bad execution. The idea, the idea of the alarm clock is awesome. The execution, however, is not. Terrible gimmick. This thing is hard to program and annoying as hell. I would rather wipe my butt with the money used to purchase it. Well, people seem to get real shook about this item. So that means we're gonna have to add it to the cart and see if it's actually wasteful. Ah! Oh. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Wow, the gun is heavy. The gun is, oh. It has that, slight recoil. recoil. That's not recoil. Recoil wow. is when it like hits back. This is just a sliding action. The action actually moves. Okay, that's actually fun to click. That's fun. But in the morning, can you listen to this? That's the point of the noise until you get up. Got some major instructions here. We, it's it's actually on already. Come on. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Three, okay. two, one. This is me aiming at it. Okay. <laughs> what? Three, two, one. No way. <laughs> This is actually a cool feeling. Yeah. Though. Just as like a little prop. Other than that, wasteful, completely wasteful. The issue is the infrared, right? It's not a laser, it's infrared. So if it, it all sees any sort of indication of infrared, of an infrared signal, it will trigger it. And infrared, if you don't know, bounces off of everything. Guys, make sure you check out this video right there. That is when I was trying some 10 strange, weird Walmart items that Brian found at Walmart. I, I found these like little finger things. They're really like little weird things. I don't, I didn't like them at all. Also click up there to subscribe because we make videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks for watching. High five.